So we have the quarter final recurve women at 70 metres with a 122 centimetre face. I'm Andrea Gales and today I will be joined by Jacob Reed. Hi. Jacob, what are you most looking forward to this morning? Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting seeing how all the archers handle the really tricky conditions in, on this venue and just the weather in general at the moment. So our first match of the day is Naomi Fulcard and Rebecca Tipping. How do you think this is going to play out, Jacob? Well, Naomi is... Uh, well, she's got three of these titles already. She's going for her fourth, which will be a record breaker. And she's definitely got the, back, the backing. Um, she, she's really probably a favourite to win this match, but... You never know, and, the, and especially in these conditions, you can really see stray arrows leading to sets won by people who you wouldn't think to win the set. Yeah, she's got a lot of experience. She's been to multiple Olympics. Yeah. Uh, she has European world medals under her belt. She was part of the bronze medal winning team at the World Championships this year. I think Rebecca really is probably going to be up against it but I don't think that's going to stop it. No, <laughs> definitely not. It's uh, The weather played a factor yesterday uh, with the compounds. I think even more so today we're going to see that it's going to come into play. So Rebecca to lead off. That's a really good solid opening arrow there. That should put the pressure on to Naomi. It's a solid first arrow from Naomi. Yesterday we saw that the, the arrows were going slightly left from the practice field. It's in a slightly different orientation to, to here. Ooh. And Rebecca's uh, just put one out wide. So the door's open now for Naomi to really take a lead here in the first set. And a two-point lead with one arrow to go. So, Jacob, talk to me about how recurve scoring uh, happens. So, the recurve system is different to the compound system. Compound will run on cumulative. Recurve use the set system. So, instead of just the total score after five ends, each set is kind of like an individual match. So, you will have only th so three arrows in a set. Whoever has the highest points in that yeah. set will get two points. If you tie it, you'll split the points one each, and obviously if you lose, you're not going to get any. And then it's first to six points uh, will win the match. If you get to five set points each, we'll go to one arrow shoot-off. Uh, that's one arrow each, closer to the middle, unless both archers shoot at ten, where we will reshoot the shoot-off. Cool, so it looks like Naomi has taken the first set. But, I mean, it, it, in set system, that, that's, that's the beauty of it. You can lose the first set and still win the match, yeah. so... Rebecca just needs to settle herself down. It, it's it's quite you can't ever really in set system set system be just out of the match and shooting arrows for fun of it unless it's like your last arrow. Um, in compound, sometimes you might see if someone makes a big mistake that it's going to be really hard for them to catch up in recurve. Anything can happen. You can miss and next then shoot a thirty and you're going to maybe tie up again. Okay, so the judges indicated that Rebecca will start. She's behind in the match. It's interesting to see that Naomi, as she was the higher higher ranked archer, picked to shoot second. I think in these conditions, what she's done is gone from the practice field, knowing that it's slightly different orientation to here. So she wanted to see what where her opponent's arrow would go yeah. as some sort of indicator. Some of the compounds did that yesterday as well. So a bit another bit of right drift there. Uh, possibly with the conditions maybe taking it that way but it's see the flags in the background and, and Naomi's fighting the, the shot a little bit here Ooh, just she to stay. wobbling there but Ooh. that's a solid shot in those conditions you, yeah you definitely take that <laughs> doesn't seem to be much happening at the targets the feathers at the targets and and the flags on top of the targets are looking pretty sort of still I think sometimes a bigger factor 
it's not the wind taking the arrows, but can sometimes be pushing the archer around. Mm -hmm. That's a really solid shot there from Naomi. Yeah, so she's got a five-point lead with one arrow to go in this set. That three is not what she needs, and now Naomi, Naomi has won this set. set. Yeah. So this is effectively a free arrow for Naomi just to find her aiming point. And she seems to have settled into the match quite well. Yeah. Rebecca still seems to be trying to find her groove. Naomi has Richard Priestman in the coach's box again. He's an Olympian and he's also the head Olympic coach for, for Archery GB. Yeah, pretty really good coach, for a lot of experience. And Rebecca has gone with Clive Jaycock. Okay, we're going to replay here of Naomi shooting her 10. Looking solid at full draw. Yeah. So uh, score's been confirmed now. That Richard there is pointing out to Naomi where the wind's coming in from and that it's swirling round. Yeah. It, you've really got to keep an eye on everything here and you've got to take every kind of read you can, look at all the flags. It's not just one direction. I think where the targets are today, they're obviously back 20 metres from where they were yesterday. They're actually protected by the, the wall of the castle. Um, so I don't think you're going to get a read on the wind down at the target. Which might make it more difficult because although there might not be wind at the target, mm -hmm. just a few meters back maybe the wind might kick in and you won't be able to know because there's not going to be any flags there. Started rain a bit harder, means the arrows are going to be pushed down a little. Yeah. Quick shot there. Still slightly low. If we drew a, a line across the, the target horizontally, we'd see that the majority of Rebecca's arrows have been on the low side. Yeah. four points up in this set already but when when someone gives you an opportunity like shooting a five you, you really want to be able to put it in the goal to put the pressure on still hanging out to the right for Rebecca maybe big opportunity to wrap this up Didn't look happy with that one, but still keeps it on the line. Yeah, I think she was line. being pushed around a little bit. Yeah. So we've got a seven star up there because from where the the people are spotting the arrows, they can't actually see whether it's cut the line or not. So it could be an eight. We'll wait for the judge's decision. So a six here for Naomi to win this match in straight sets and progress on to the semifinals. And oh, oh, she shoots a she six. Shoots a a uh, six seven liner. Um two star arrows there, but either way she will have won this match. Um with a bit bit of bit of style on the last few. Yeah. So we'll wait for the uh, judges' confirmation, but it looks like Naomi will progress through to the semi finals later on this afternoon. So the dream of the four time winner of the national tour finals is still on. It's <laughs> still alive. I think Naomi really did show her experience in that match and started off really strong from the get-go. Rebecca starting off with a really good 10, but just then letting the conditions get to her and her arrows drifting over to the right. I don't think she could really um, bring them back over. So one of those lines was called down and one of them was called up. So 23 points and Naomi wins 6-0.